Hello everyone, this is Bonnie from One Smitten Kitten 79 and I'd like to welcome you to the first ever Not Too Shabby Shop Hop. Um, I just want to make sure that you do go and look at my description box on my video after you've watched it because there's a lot of important information about the hop in there. Um, Carol from One Happy Crafty Chick is hosting this hop and what you need to do is after you've watched all the videos on the list below in the description box make sure you leave a comment doesn't have to be anything elaborate just leave a simple comment on every person's video once you've completed that then you need to private message Carol one happy crafty chick and tell her that you've completed the hop and that you've watched all the videos and left a comment you will then be put into a drawing and she will choose a winner over the weekend and she will announce that winner for a $20 gift card to Not Too Shabby. Um, and she will announce that on her channel, One Happy Crafty Chick. I'd also like to thank Jamie, from who is Scrap and Stampers, and the owner of Not Too Shabby for organizing this also. I love your store. You have such awesome stamps. And thank you for letting me participate. She also is giving everybody 15% off on anything in her shop for the duration of this hop and the code will also be posted down in my details and the code is YouTube hop so thank you Jamie let me just get right into the stamp that I chose was CC designs Swiss pixie watermelon Abigail she's such a little cutie and she is available right now in Jamie's store. And what I used, I've had this paper from Jelly Bean Soup. It's watermelon gazpacho soup. And I've had this paper. And this is the back side of it. And it's coordinating stamp from Unity. I've had this sitting in my stash forever and never had a reason to make anything until these little cuties came along so let me just get going on this I made an easel card I have never ever done that before so that was new to me um, as I said the only paper I did use was that um, pattern paper there everything else was just normal red and black and green stock that I had in my arsenal um, start off the card, I used this um, speech bubble paper clip to put my sentiment, and the sentiment did come in here, and it said, thanks, you're one in a melon, and I just chose not to use the thanks. And I just free cut the watermelon um, by hand, because I didn't have anything that, that was that big. And to make the seeds, I used this CC Designs die. It's called Curly Q. And after you've punched out this little Curly Q, all the little seeds that are in the inside are what I use to make them on the card. And I did glossy accent them too. That's the front. And I also glossy accented the ones that are that she's holding in her hand and the inside of the card is pretty basic I still use the same uh, jelly bean soup paper I fussy cut it out the watermelon for here the you are so sweet stamp is a Amy R stamp it's hearty sayings this ribbon right here to use to hold up the easel card is just a basic uh, ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's really thick and squishy. I used this Martha Stewart punch to create these two punches down here. And then, of course, the cute little ants making their way to the watermelon is the Happy Summer Lawn Fawn stamp set. It's so cute. And there's my first ever easel card woohoo and while I was on the bandwagon because I had colored up 
three different ones of these little girls in different hair colors. I've never done black hair before, so it was new to me. I found out one thing, it's very hard to make color black hair, at least I think it is with Copics. Um, but I decided I would try to make a tag of sorts. I know this isn't shaped like your typical tag, but um, I just thought it would be cute. I just free uh, cut it out of chipboard and cut the rind and the inside paper. And again, use the same CC Designs die to make my little watermelon seeds. And I have her popped up on foam tape. I just tied on a bunch of different ribbons that I had in my stash. And I also decorated the other side. I used the Happy Summer stamp that was from the Lawn Fawn. And again, the little ants going across. And I used Copics to color in this watermelon. So that's just my version of doing a tag. <laughs> so I hope you like what I've made. And I want to thank everybody that's come to my channel. I'm very new to posting videos on YouTube and the feedback so far that I've gotten is awesome and I want to just thank everybody and please make sure to look down in the description box make sure you leave a copy on my video and then go on to the next person on the list and make uh, comments on all of them that you watch and then at the very end PM Carol who is one happy crafty chick so that you can be put into the drawing for the $20 gift card from Not Too Shabby Thank you again for coming to my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful time doing the hop. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.